hey, collective hey. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to everyone that has booked a personal reading, guys. Everybody that has donated, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. So let's jump right in. I had started to record and I kind of got interrupted, okay? <laughs> so, um... There could be some sort of interference, collective. Yeah, what did I say? There could be some sort of interference, guys. Judgment day for your enemies. But I'm saying evil family members here, guys. Uh, this don't have to be just your blood family, okay? This could be um, people that you consider family, people that you are loyal to, people that you grew up with, people that you've invested a lot into uh, here, collective. Again, evil family members. There's definitely evil out around you here. Protect your energy, guys. Especially, again, I feel like you're very intuitive, okay? With Judgment Day for your enemies here, uh, you are protected, right? So I feel like you you know who these people are. This is your confirmation. For some of you, this is real deal people in your bloodline, your immediate family here. For some of you, it's mothers, fathers, uh, siblings, cousins, okay? Um, again, like I say, for some of you, this is definitely people in your blood family here. But we, I am seeing judgment day for your enemies, guys. So they're going to pay. They're going to pay. Uh, karma is going to pay them a visit. Karma is going to pay them a visit collective. Wow. Yeah, we got tarot reader here with spell work. So for some of you, these people are getting tarot readings done on you here. These people are getting tarot readings done on you. They're attempting to cast spell work towards you collective. They could be doing some sort of black magic or dark magic here with spell work. Again, this is, this is people in your family. This is somebody that you're connected to here. Give me some more messages for the collective. Yeah, wow. We have you were born to be a legend at the bottom of the deck collective. You were born to be great, okay? So, of course, you have evil eye around you. Wow. So, I feel like this is nothing. Yeah, do not worry. This is nothing that you need to take personal here. You have a big mission here on earth. You are highly ranked uh, in the spiritual realm collective. Again, you were born to be great. You were born uh, to be a legend. You're going to leave behind some sort of legacy. You will build an empire collective. And again, I'm seeing dream messages. Wow, with Earth Angel Healer here. You're definitely receiving some sort of dream messages at this time. For some of you, you might need to dream journal. Pay attention to the dream messages that you are receiving. You may need to write them down and just go back, you know, every so often um, and compare notes or read over them and see what has come to pass. Uh, again, you have a psychic ability here. Your third eye could definitely be uh, activated as well with dream messages here. But I, I'm, I'm also picking up your crown chakra collective uh, is activated. We have earth angel healer. You are an earth angel collective. You have natural healing abilities, okay? You are a divine being here. This is why we saw judgment day for your enemies. They did not know collective that you were an earth angel. They did not know that you work directly with God, that you are God's ambassador here. They did not know that you were born to be a legend. You were born to be great collective. So no stone that they throw your way collective will harm you, will affect you. But again, karma is going to pay them a visit collective. Karma is going to pay them a visit. They've been fucking with an earth angel. <laughs> That's dangerous. That is dangerous. Wow. Let's clarify.
Karma is about to pay them a visit. Wow. This is why <laughs> you have to be careful, baby. Who you who you messing with in the physical realm? You can't go off someone's appearance, someone's image, someone's physical physical image, what they look like to you know, you don't know who people are. You do not know who people are collective. Somebody did not know you were an earth angel. For a lot of you, these are people in your own family. They did not know you were an earth angel collective. You have natural healing abilities. Uh, this is why none of the spell work will work. You have natural healing abilities collective. Your body heal itself with earth angel here. This is why we saw evil family members and judgment day for your enemies at the beginning of the reading. You're an earth angel. God is about to wreck havoc is what I'm hearing collective. God is about to wreck havoc is what I'm hearing. Again, karma, okay, is about to pay these people a visit. Ooh, collective. Ooh, I do not want to say that. I do not want to say that. I do not want to say that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Why is evil family members here? For some of them, I got to say it. <laughs> I have to say it. For some of them, the devil coming to collect. The devil is coming to collect. You see, this says evil family members, not just enemies, not evil eye. You know, these are evil family members. When someone is evil, this takes it to, to another level, okay, of, of what they will do. Their hatred towards you, their jealousy towards you. E somebody evil will plot on you. Somebody evil will set you up collective. What did I say for for somebody, the, the devil coming to collect? Why is evil family here? Two of cups, wow. For some of you guys, these are, this is somebody you in a relationship with, with the two of cups here. For some of you, you married to this person. Or you, you in a, a quote unquote committed relationship here. Ace of uh, Cups here. Why is Tarot Reader here? The Nine of Cups, yeah. <laughs> the Nine of Cups is here. Wow, with the Ten of Cups, guys. Somebody looking into your, trying to look into your future, right? Somebody trying to see what you have going on, figure you out here. Somebody know that you have a lot of su success uh, coming towards you. Somebody know you have a lot of success coming towards you with the Nine of Cups here. And the Ten of Cups is here at the bottom. There's a fulfillment that you are about to get collective with you were born to be a legend here. Yeah, and then you see trauma is here in reverse, right? Because the spell work didn't work. The spell work didn't work. Nothing that they try to do is going to work collective. You were sent here for a mission. You were chosen here with you were born to be legend. You were born to be great. It's something that you are about to do collective. You are about to be very successful. You are about to be great here. And whoever this is, they know you were born to be great. Because again, they've been trying to look into your future here. But I feel like they see a lot of success. They've seen a lot of success. 
So for some of you, you need to pay attention to these family members here. Pay attention to this person that you're in a relationship with, right? Make sure that um, they're, you're in the relationship for the right reason or they're in the relationship for the right reason. Because again, there's a lot of success here surrounding you with the nine and ten of cups. Again, this is this legacy, this empire that you are going to create here. And I feel like for somebody, um, again, <laughs> karma is coming to pay a visit, baby. The devil is coming to collect, baby. Because they playing up under you. You are earth angel here. They are literally playing up under you for some of you. Because again, for some of you, this is somebody you married to. This is somebody you in a committed relationship with. They playing up under you. But of course, what did I say? They did not know that you were an earth angel. They did not know that you are highly ranked in the spiritual realm. They did not know that vengeance is mine. I will repay, uh, said the Lord. You know what I'm saying? This is the energy that I'm picking up on. God is going to get some payback. Why is dream messages here? Three of Cups. So for some of you, this could be up to three people here. This could be up to three people that God has showed you some about. It could be up to three people. For some of you, this is a mother with the Queen of Cups here. Why is Earth Angel here? Wow, the judgment card, guys. Wow. With the Ace of Swords here. Beautiful energy. Wow. I feel like with this judgment, again, um, I feel like you reincarnated here. Judgment, Earth Angel, uh, Healer here. You reincarnated this lifetime collective for some of you. That will not resonate with everyone, even though, you know, most of us reincarnate multiple times, okay? But again, someone has re reincarnated here. I also feel like with the judgment here, um, you went through some sort of spiritual awakening. You went through some sort of spiritual awakening here uh, with the judgment, or there's a spiritual awakening that is taking place. This is why a lot is being brought to light. I feel like you have to be uh, willing to accept and release your past, okay? There's a new phase of life that you are entering with judgment here. You're moving towards a more vibrant uh, future. Again, nine of cups, a lot of success. You were born to be great here. I also feel like you need to pay attention to the signs that you are getting uh, from the universe, that you're getting from God, okay? Start accepting your spiritual gifts. It's time for you to tap into your spiritual gifts with judgment here, uh, fault clarifying earth angel and healer. Uh, it's time for you to move on from past pain, okay? Embrace a new period of spiritual awakening, okay? You're being elevated in this season, Let's, um, let me see. Do I have my other deck here? Hold on, guys. Oh, here it is. Wow, I just saw the judgment again, guys. Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here with evil family? Six of pentacles. Yeah, with the seven of swords. I wouldn't take nothing from these people. Do not take anything from this person with the six of pentacles here and the seven of swords. Somebody being sneaky. Somebody being sneaky. Somebody being deceptive. It's like somebody trying to give you something, okay? 
somebody trying to give you something. Uh, don't exchange energy with this person. Don't take food from this person. It's kind of like they're trying to give you crumbs here. They're really trying to give you crumbs here, collective. Do not take anything from this person, whoever this is. For, for some of you, this is somebody that you live with. They are wearing a mask. This person is very deceptive. And be careful, like, um, so like if you marry, right? Or if you just in a committed relationship, right? And if they try to feed you something like all the time, the same thing all the time, or just overly sharing, like doing more than they usually do, like every night before you go to bed, baby, you want some ice cream or, you know, something like that. Like pay attention to stuff like that. It's something that they're trying to give you um that is harmful i feel like but again you are highly protected god is going to intervene this is what i'm telling you this is what i'm telling you the devil is coming to collect the devil is coming to collect karma is about to pay some of y'all family members a visit here yeah with the moon card oh my gosh it's something that you don't see here it is something that you do not see and it's splitting here. Yeah, at the five of wands, guys. This is somebody that um, there's it's confusion around this person or you could be fighting with this person all the time or these people. Again, the devil is the author of all confusion. It's something that you don't see. It's something that you do not see with the moon card. Again, be careful about eating behind this person or taking things from this person. This is somebody in your family. This is somebody for a lot of you that you are in a relationship with, with the two of cups here. For some of y'all, you married to this person. Why is the nine of cups here with tarot reader? Yeah, the temperance card. Wow, look, the nine of cups again at the bottom. Wow, collective. There's a lot of success that you are about to come into. Wow, ten of wands, yeah, and the temperance card. Something is about to balance out for you. What did I say? See, whoever this person is, see, they burdened right now in this ten of wands energy. This is somebody that's burdened. This is somebody uh, that's struggling right now. This is somebody that's struggling right now, but we got the temperance. Again, you are an earth angel here. You are an earth angel here. I'm hearing um, some of them going to get karma just for attempting to tap into your energy with, um, with a tarot read, reader here. Somebody's going to get karma just for, for attempting to tap into your energy. I'm also picking up, you're an alchemist. You have the ability to transmute this negative energy here. Again, nine of cups twice. There's a level of success you about to reach. And for somebody, they, they block. They can't even, they can't get no readings on you. They can't get no readings on you with the 10 of wands here in the temperance. They cannot get any readings on you collective uh, because you are an earth angel. God got it blocked. What? With the justice card here, guys. God got it blocked. The scales are being balanced, collective. Truths are being revealed, okay? Things are about to be brought to light, collective. Every good deed that you've done is being accounted for with this justice card. Justice is also about karma. What did I say? Karma is about to pay them a visit. Watch the three of cups here with um dream messages. For some of you, these like your friends. It don't have to be family. Just people that you feel like you're loyal to. People that you would consider family. Okay? This could be like friends. Why is the three of cups here with dream messages? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, with the Ace of Wands here, guys. 
We got the Wheel of Fortune. You're seeing faded events in your dreams. There could be a, a celebration. Three of Cups also talks about a uh, possible celebration, having fun, you know, going out with friends, enjoying. It, it might be just a small group of people that you associate yourself with. But you're about to get a new beginning. Will of Fortune is here. This is good luck. This is the favor of God, I feel like, that is on your life at this time. It have the, the wheel is spinning, collective. It's spinning in your favor. There are destined events. There are faded events that you are seeing. There are things that God is showing you that God is revealing to you about certain people as well. Pay attention to your dreams at this time. For some of you, you really need to uh, dream journal. Why is Earth Angel here with natural, uh, well, Earth Angel with healer here? Why is it here with judgment? Yeah, it's kind of like you being resurrected, collective. You being resurrected, right? We got the, uh, the Knight of, of Pentacles here. There's some sort of solid offer that you are about to get again. You were born to do something great. You were born to be a legend. Nobody can stop your destiny. Nobody can stop your destiny, collective, but God. There's some sort of solid offer, some sort of solid new beginning. This is something long-term, something stable that you are about to, um, you're going to come into connection with, some sort of offer you're going to get. For some of you, this could be, um, a, you might come into connection with your true soulmate here your true prodigal spouse, your real divine counterpart here. For some of you, you were an imposter. This is a fake over here. See, we got the two of cups falling under evil family over here. And then we have the two of cups over here falling under earth angel healer. For some of you, you are with an imposter. You are not with your a God-ordained spouse. And it may take, wow, it may take God to come and wreak havoc to end this relationship for you to move forward. But it's something that God is revealing to you about your destiny in your sleep. It's people that God is revealing to you about your destiny in your sleep that you need to pay attention to. Pay attention to the details. Like, literally, pay attention to the details collective in the dreams, right? So, y'all know I have a million stories. I probably shared this with y'all a while back. Um, but just to make it really quick, um, I kept having dreams, right, that I was getting married. And I just was brushing the dreams, you know, off. Like, okay, I, obviously, I'm not getting married because at the time, you know, um there were no prospects and you know i had just i was actually in the process of going through a divorce my divorce at the time and mind you i'm having dreams that i'm getting married i keep having them keep having them keep having them but i'm brushing them off i'm brushing them off and then one night i had a dream that um i had a pimple on my face in the dream it's kind of like I was, uh, I, it was an out of body experience or I astral project projected in the dream because I saw myself in the dream. I saw myself walking down the sidewalk, but there was a, a, a pimple or a, a bump, whatever you want to call it on my face. Okay. When I woke up the next morning from the dream, I had a pimple on my face in the exact same spot as the dream. And it's funny because as I was walking down the sidewalk in the dream, it's kind of like I just zoomed in at the pimple on the face, right? And when I woke up from my sleep, I had a pimple on my face in the exact same spot as I had in the dream. This was God's way of telling me that he is very specific. 
He is very specific. Pay attention to the details. It's something that God is showing you very specifically about your future, about your destiny, about fated events. The three of cups is here about other people. It, it could possibly be some sort of reunion here as well or something celebratory. For some of you, this is going to be up to three people he is revealing to you, okay? And again, we have the two of cups here. Somebody is with an imposter. Hey, and don't feel bad because I, I was with one too for eight years. I was married uh, to, to to not my divine counterpart, you know, and there was a, I'm going to say a tragic ending. It was no deaths involved, but um, no physical deaths, okay, um, but baby, <laughs> baby, I wouldn't wish what I went through on my worst enemy, okay? So again, it's okay if you married somebody and you are starting to realize you don't think this is your person. You have to awaken to this. You have to, you know, be willing to move forward. You have to be willing to step out on faith. This is God testing you. Once God revealed this to you and you decide to stay in the relationship, that's on you. But warning comes before destruction. For somebody, you're being called to separate from this connection. This is a marriage for some of you. This is not your divine counterpart. Wow, guys. So I hope this message resonated, okay? If it did, hit that thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you are not subscribed. If you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description below. Thank you.